Welcome back guys to Classic Replay. Now this is a strange video for me. It's about the Atari 7800 Pro System. If you like this video, please do me the honor and subscribe. And on with the show. Now I know relatively little about this system other than the fact that it throws sprites around better than the NES and the Sega Master System. But seriously, please don't quote me on that. I'm very familiar with this game. I had it on the Amstrad CPC uh, and I also played it on the Commodore 64 back in the early days, probably 1984. So then, no matter how powerful a system, the sum of a system's parts is its games. So the best way to explore this console is to literally go through its library of games and that's what I'm going to do here. I've played this one quite a bit now. It's basically Operation Wolf, albeit a clone with aliens. But I have to say, it's really addictive. It looks good as well. And it's bloody brilliant. We didn't get this on the uh, Amstrad CPC or the Commodore 64 or the ZX Spectrum to mine for that matter. So I think this is an exclusive and it's a damn fine one. For me, this is a real hidden gem uh, from another system. If like me, you love asteroids in the arcade this is pretty much the same thing probably more detailed better sound probably better gameplay as well i really can't decide or pull the two apart what i can tell you is it's bloody good it's a very basic game but it's one that laid the foundations maybe for things like thrust smash tv or maybe that was robotron i don't know but so far i'm really impressed with the 7800 Now this is one I know very well. I had this on the Amstrad CPC and it was absolutely brilliant. It's a great two player game. And I had it on the Commodore 64 as well. And it's even better on the Commodore 64. But this, I have to say, it looks the smoothest, the cleanest, and I think it's the fastest. It's the, it's the one that if I'd have had the choice back in the day, I'd have definitely played. I have to be careful here with this one. I'm blown away by the graphics and the character sprites. Uh, I'm not so blown away about the gameplay. But if anybody is in doubt about the graphical might uh, and, and the scrolling and the colors and the sprites uh, of the Atari 7800, this should put it to bed. It's bloody amazing. I've only spent a few hours of the game, so the jury's still out, but so far, it's decent. Now this is one of my favourite games of all time, the arcade system of Centipede. And I remember playing Pod on the Commodore 16 as well, which was really good, a favourite of mine. And this is no slouch either. And there's a few clones on the Amstrad CPC as well, and the 64. Um, so I'm really impressed with this. And... Um, I'm, st I'm thinking I need to get an Atari 7800 and start collecting, but uh, I think I'd, I'd be so shocked by the, the, the prices of cartridges and stuff. Nicely done though. Played this to death on other systems. Mm, it's alright, I'm not a massive fan. You know, take off, rescue people, bring them back, do the same, repeat, rinse, all that stuff. But uh, it, it, it looks good, it looks decent. Uh, again, the scrolling is very smooth, uh, the animation's good, the clouds are zipping by there, and um, yeah, sprites, look, sprites look good. Nice little animation on the US flag there. Yeah, it's good. Well, when um, going through the Atari 7800 library, I wasn't expecting to find Commando. For Christ's sake, this is absolutely brilliant. The detail is fantastic in this game. There's no music that I know of, but everything else is there. This is the game that I've probably put the most time into since playing, discovering the 7800. So um, maybe this is uh, one of the crown jewels of the system. I don't know. I don't know enough about it, but if anybody knows, let me know. Not really my sort of thing, this, although it's not bad. 
Um, you can see the uh, the principle, the premise of the game. Just that I got a little bit bored playing it. But um, I imagine for kids or somebody like that, it's uh, it's very entertaining. Some of the ideas about these games, the lesser known ones, are quite original. And dare I say it, feel a little bit innovative. So from that perspective, you can't really fault it. I like this, I, I like it a lot. It's another one of those Operation Wolf style shoot 'em games. A lot slower paced, but there's enough going on on screen where you've really got to have your wits about you. It doesn't look amazing graphically, but what there is is big, bold sprites and they're quite colorful. Again, you can see that the, the movement's really smooth. The animation's a bit lacking, but um, this one I quite like, it's quite tidy. And I've never seen it before, so it must be another exclusive. I wonder which game this ripped off, but it's still a good game. In fact, it's, it looks identical to Gauntlet, but there's, a, there's, there's a subtle differences that make it stand out, that make it its own game as well. I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't spent anywhere near enough time with this. But from what I've experienced so far, the graphics are really good. The scrolling is, is, is quite tasty. But look at those graphics there. Wow. I'm a massive shoot 'em up nut. I had a proper heads gone moment when I first played this because I couldn't believe how smooth everything is, how fast everything is, the color, the big screen, no borders around the screen. I'd have loved to have played this on the Amstrad CPC. We had similar games, similar style of games to this. This is one I spent a little bit of time with and uh, I would say that this is about eight or nine out of 10. Um, not knowing much about the system, I really, really enjoy playing it. This one needs no introduction and I'm absolutely mad for it, especially the arcade version. My cousin and I would play the life out of this. And don't quote me on this, but I think he had it on the ZX Spectrum and we played the tape out of that. As far as I can tell, I think it's a little bit slower than the arcade, but it's just as much fun. And looking this good as well, you can forgive it almost for the lack of pace if there is any. Very impressed. Now this is Donkey Kong obviously, and I had this on the Amstrad CPC. And according to Retro Gamer, the Amstrad CPC version uh, was the best arcade to computer conversion. But I have to say, this is nay bad, this is quite close as well. So I have some experience with this game. I would just say that the sounds are a little bit weak. I don't know why that is, if someone can explain it. But everything else is superlative. Are there any shite games for this system? I even loved this game as well, loved it, loved it in the arcade. I don't know if this was released on the Amstrad CPC, I can't remember. I think I might have played it, uh, memory serves, on the Commodore 64 or another system. But look at the little animations in this game uh, as he jumps from rope to rope. It's truly terrific this, I, I absolutely, I, I really do want to get my hands on this console. If anyone can give me some advice on how much it's going to cost me, how much I need to set aside, please let me know. Now, I don't think there was a decent conversion of this outside of the arcade, and even the arcade version suffered from slowdown. But this is alright, it's not bad. I would definitely have played it as a kid. There were some awful conversions to the home computers, the ZX Specky, the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64 back in the day. So compared to those, this looks all right, it looks decent, but I can see enough about it to see that it's got a few issues. Nice uh, screen there. I absolutely love flight sims. I've I played so many on the um, 8 bits. Um, F-16 Combat Pilot, Top Gun, ATF. Oh, Gunship, that was a good one. Oh, Tomahawk, I nearly forgot that one as well. But I'm not sure about this one, it seems a bit slow. Looks very detailed. You definitely can't fault the graphics, but I'm not a fan of those little tiny windows. I like to see what's going on. So I think I'd probably give this one a miss. 
Who doesn't love a good driving game? Uh, I'm, I, li I like it. Um, it seems fast, but um, I'm not sure. It's like I guess it's like Road Blasters, isn't it? I think I prefer the Outrun style or the Chase HQ. Maybe Continental Circus, Super Hang On, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, this is all right. It's nothing to write home about, but uh, it's all right. I wouldn't be disappointed. Oh, I remember this one. We had it on the Commodore 64. Uh, it's a really good game. From what I can tell, it looks bloody identical. So, uh, I mean, that's quite funny. Dipstick over there. My dad actually called me that once, but let's not even go there. If I'd have bought this back in the day, I'd have really enjoyed it. I, I really like this game. I like boxing games and wrestling games full stop. So, yeah, great little animations there uh, with a bit of a comedy spin. So, good value, yeah. Hmm, not sure what to say. Very basic looking, smooth movement, no scrolling, just a single screen game. Flips to the next screen. Um, yeah, I, how much are these games, does anybody know? I wouldn't have wanted to pay anything more than probably a couple of quid for this. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's a really highly addictive game. But it's not something I'd probably want to fork out or spend much time on. I think I've found my first turkey on the system. Not Gallagher, by the way. This is uh, another brilliant game on the system. Well, in, in my humble opinion. It um, looks smooth enough to me and the rate of fire is good. And it's not overly difficult as well. You feel like you've got a chance. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, I'm absolutely loving this system and, 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 the ho and most of its games. Must spend more time on this one. I, li I like it a lot. There's lots of uh, really good arcade conver conversions on this system. Oh god, this, this looks awful. And it plays awful as well as far as I'm concerned. Wh where are all the players? Just one, one on one, I mean, come on. You'd assume, I mean, is it, it's the same sort of thing, like, like Pong almost. Not impressed, an absolute dud if you ask me. Maybe kids would get fun out of this, but uh, not, not me. I, 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 would, I think I would have taken this straight back to the shop. So for me, um, the system could have packed up and gone home when I played Commando. But then I played Akari Warriors, and as far as I'm concerned, the, the system is sold. I'll buy it for a high price. Find me one on eBay now, and I, I'm buying it because this game is bloody brilliant. This is uh, really decent. I prefer the Amstrad CPC version, as that was one of the computer's standout titles, but this is still bloody good. Never really got on with this game. Had it on the 64, had it on the Amstrad CPC, played it on several other systems as well. And I know exactly what you've got to do, but it was just repetitive boredom for me. And this probably looks like the weakest version I've ever seen and sounds the weakest. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm no fan of this game. I know it's got its fans, but uh, I'm just not one of them. So I'm not slating it. I'm just saying it's not my type of game. I'm 95% sure that I had this on the Amstrad CPC and I don't think it was a good game but this is a lot smoother, looks nicer and um, there's better animation so I think if I spent a little bit more time with this I'd quite like it because it's a bit like Arcanide but side-scrolling if you've played this let me know your thoughts, leave a comment and tell me Great speech and uh, graphics though. I'm going to be brutally honest here. I've never played this game. I heard about it. Uh, the program is an absolute legend on the Commodore 64. Um, I know it exists in the arcade and various other systems. I'm told it's an absolute legend of a game. I do want to play it. I want to play it properly, sit down and, and play it properly. From what I've uh, seen so far, I like it. I like it a lot. 
I checked out the reviews as well for this game and uh, a lot of people like it as well. Could never get on with this one. Um, I had it originally on the 8-bit. But um, yeah, this one's all right, actually. It's it's like the pace is, is just right. The, the, the moves are just right. I think the Amstrad version that I had, he kicked at like a thousand mile an hour and it was just, I think it just made it unplayable. But um, yeah, this one's all right. I like it. Really clever animations going on. Need to spend more time with it. Good. I'm really confused by this one. It's Kung Fu Master. And to me, it feels awful. It looks awful and it plays awful. But maybe I'm missing the point somewhere because I checked out a review and this guy was absolutely raving about it, saying it was one of the best arcade conversions. So I'm prepared to, um, you know, lean on the fence a little bit with this one and um, give it more time to, 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 to try and experience it better. But again, let me know your thoughts if you played it and you enjoyed it. And um, yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan of this game, but I can see that it's pretty much arcade perfect. Um, yeah, Mario. But I just found it boring. I'm sure this one's got its fans and I'm sure it's addictive, but it's just not my type of game. I prefer Bubble Bobble or the Donkey Kong series. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Mario games. I just don't like this Mario game. But I think fans would actually love this. I guess most people would think this is absolute crap. It looks awful. But I'm into wrestling games. I love wrestling games. I had so many on the uh, 8-bits and then on the Sega Mega Drive and then later on the SNES. But I'm not ready to put this one down yet. I haven't made my mind up with it, with it's a good, bad or ugly game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But it's one I'm, at the moment I'm looking forward to going back to. I've seen far worse graphics uh, than this on other systems, so... Fingers crossed. So I'm a big fan of Leaderboard from US Gold. And uh, I would say... I would stake a claim, stick my pole in the ground and say, this is one of the best golf games I think I've ever played. Better than leaderboard on the, on the Commodore 64. It's a really no-nonsense, smooth game of golf. There's no way this is a crap game. It's a really good game. And uh, I, I'd have loved to have had this on the Amstrad CPC. Unfortunately, I've got no idea what you've got to do here. I, I think you've got to shoot stuff, but I don't have the light gun. So I can't really tell you if this is a good or a bad or an ugly game. So let me know in the comments what I need to do to get this working, to get this set up. The basic looking games are sometimes some of the best, so uh, I might be missing out here. Graphically, uh, sound-wise, music, there's hardly anything going on here, so um, not sure what to say. The guy on the cover of this game, I'm sure that's the, the guy out of the Munsters, the granddad or something. But this is a really fast-paced game. But it's you've got to hunt uh, for pure blood. I'm not really sure what you've got to do um, as a mission. But um, I'm really, I've only played a little bit of it, but uh, the, the sprites, animation, um, graphics, sound, it's all really good. It's all top stuff. So far, I mean, big fan of Super Hang On or any type of racing game, any pseudo uh, style uh, 3D racing game. This one I'm really enjoying. It's really fast. Strangely, there's only two lanes, but look at that draw distance there. You can see the road ahead for absolute miles. Seems to me to handle pretty well. As, I mean, look at that draw distance. Handles pretty well. And uh, I like it so far, so good. I'm going to go back to this one. Probably one of the most addictive games of all time, Miss Pac-Man. And this 7800 has actually got a bloody good copy as well. 
Really addictive, highly addictive stuff this. If you owned a 7800 and you could afford these games, you had, you had an absolute blinder of a console here. Proper arcade experience. This was almost like the arcade in the home sort of thing, the early arcade in the home. Really good stuff. Very impressed, love this game. I didn't have a clue what to think when I first saw this game, Ninja Golf. I just thought a really good golfer, but nothing uh, prepared me for this side-scrolling, if you like, beat em up where you're kind of racing across the golf course to get to the hole. This must be another exclusive on the 7800 because I've never seen it before on any other computer or console. And I, I'm going to give this... Uh, a whopping 9 out of 10. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, so there had to be a dud. And this is an absolute turd. An absolute Christmas turkey, this one. When you see the previous uh, basketball game and then you see this, oh, it's, um, it's almost eye scraping and ear scraping. And graphically, there's nothing. Go it's got nothing going for it. I'm not a fan of this one-on-one -on -one crap. This is absolute pish. If you did buy this, um, let me know. Tell me what you what you think. But it's like a smack in the face for me. I love a good baseball game. Always have. Always will. I had World Series baseball on the Commodore 64, and then later on the Amstrad. This one seems all right. I think the other one I had was RBI Series 2 Baseball as well, and that was really good, really enjoyed that. But not spent enough time with this to know if it's really good or not. Graphically, it looks good, and it does remind me of something I played on the Commodore 64. Hardball, I think, but uh, don't quote me on that. Plays like and looks like a real early shooter, and it's quite good fun. I think I'm just a, a sucker for these uh, vertical scrolling shooters. It started with Galaxians or Gallagher, Space Invaders. And I think it's just I've been hooked ever since on these types of games. And this one's all right. I quite like it. There seems to be a good challenge. Very, very basic looking there. The sound's very basic. There's no music. But yeah, look at that. Planet Smashers. Wow, pole position two. That looks, this looks absolutely amazing. And it plays really well. Uh, again, I've not spent too much time with it, but um, wow, I wish we'd have had pole position on, on the Amstrad CPC. Oh, look at, I mean the explosions, the, the graphics on this, the car, the detail, and the speed. It, it's really been w well put together. So, wow, Atari. 7800 bloody good stuff i don't know what people think of this um but i had rampage uh on the amstrad cpc and some other console or computer and i absolutely loved it and this one doesn't seem to be as detailed but look at the animation you can see the animation on the faces um and it seems all right it plays all right it's quite quick it doesn't look like much is going on graphically, but it actually is. Really good game, I like it. So another baseball game. Again, this one looks all right to me. If you'd have put this under my nose back when I was, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, I'd have played the life out of it. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm not uh, terribly sure if this is a, is a good baseball game or not. I haven't seen too many reviews on the Atari 7800 games, but this seems to tick all the boxes. One of the things I've noticed on these 7800 games is the controls are really tight, and I like the options you get at the beginning of the games. Oh my, another absolute fantastic arcade conversion here from the looks of it. Plays awesomely well, if that's such a word. I mean, look at the speed of this thing. I mean, I've played, definitely played more really good games on this system uh, than I have played bad. So there's a 
high ratio of really good games on this system, especially arcade conversions. Go Robotron! I'd like to know the programmer who did the uh, conversion for this. Fortunately, I've not spent too much time with this, but uh, from what I have played, it's, it's really good, it's really fast, it's really smooth. The graphics are fantastic, probably some of the best I've seen so far. The main character, protagonist sprite, is absolutely brilliant. Look at the detail in it. I mean, that uh, probably, I don't know, exaggerating a bit, but that this feels like a bit of an Atari ST, Commodore 64 quality of graphics. Really impressive stuff, really impressed. Well, I had Summer Games um, and California Games on the Commodore 64, and these are some of the best uh, series-style event games. Uh, I think I had Winter Games as well, and that was brilliant. And um, just looking at this, I can see it's of the same quality. Oh, that was a nasty one. You'd have literally broken your back diving off the board like that. But yeah, this has got this has got some uh, real quality. I haven't spent any time with this, not going to lie. So it looks good. Graphically, it looks good. It's a bit worrying that when you bank left or right, it's, it, it looks quite jerky. It just like flicks rather than, you know, leans into it slowly. But um, let me know. It looks good. I've not seen any reviews on it. In fact, it's got to be good, hasn't it, with a name like Super Yui? Not sure what to make of this one either. It definitely looks like my sort of game though. The fact that this guy's on a skateboard, that appeals to me straight away. And you can jump on and off the uh, skateboard, so I guess you do that to go up higher to the other rooms. But it looks and sounds absolutely brilliant. It's got that late 1980s feel to it. But again, I've not spent that, that much time with this one. It's a really awkward thing to do to go through so many games. But uh, looking forward to playing Super Skateboarding again. Uh, another one, this is, this is definitely my sort of game. Vertical scrolling in a tank. Quite generous this game with the lives. And I like that it's not just a one hit and it's, it's, it's game over sort of thing. It's, uh, you've got that energy bar there and you can take quite a bit of punishment. And, and why wouldn't you be able to take punishment, you're a tank. But uh, big bulbous sprites, nice big tank detail there, nice smooth scroll, plenty of ammunition. Yeah, good, looking good, I like it. This seems quite good to me as well, nice and frantic. I love the way you can just slam, body slam to the floor there. Look at the graphics, uh, the people in the audience. Again, I think this might be an exclusive for the 7800 because I've not seen this on any of the other 8-bits. But uh, I really like this title match pro wrestling. I think it's got uh, a lot going for it. And it reminds me a little bit of Rock and Wrestle on the Commodore 64. So kudos. This one looks really good. Um, Okay, so you've, the, the, the screen's still small, but you've got some good visibility at the sides now as well. So this looks really good, really detailed as well. Nice smooth movement as you bank there. I know that if I spend anything like a decent amount of time with this, I'm going to love it. I'll get a really good vibe about it. I love the way the yoke stick moves around at the bottom as well. Brilliant stuff. I mean, I love American football games, but it's difficult to look at this type of game now after playing stuff like John Madden and, uh, and, 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 and feel the need to want to play something like this. I have given it a quick go, though, and from what I've seen and the feel of the game, it's, it's all right. It's, it's quite a good game. I don't think it's a bad game. It's definitely one of those games... If I'd have had this back in the day, I would have played it, and I'd have played it religiously. This feels like it should be 
one of the levels in a James Bond game or something. I quite like the graphics. The scrolling's good. And it's quite fun. The first couple of levels ease you in nicely. And I think with a bit of practice, you could go far in this game. But I wouldn't pay more than budget level pricing for this. So $1.99 or $2.99 is definitely not a full pricer. It'll be good to find out what uh, you guys, Atari fans, think of this type of game. I quite like it. I had this one uh, as a kid for the Amstrad CPC. I played it on the 64 as well, but the Amstrad CPC version was absolutely brilliant. But this looks really good, if not better. I mean, this should be the better version. This console, in theory, is really powerful. In fact, the graphics in summer games are very similar to this. I spent absolute hours playing this game as a kid. Um, never got tired of it. And I think I'd have loved this version. Another game I'm really familiar with. I had it on the Amstrad as well. And it was, really, it was cracking stuff on the Amstrad. So I, I, I know what to expect from this game. I think this plays better though. I think this plays better than the Amstrad CPC version. It's a lot smoother. And the sprites, I think, are better defined. Plus the screen estate is a lot larger as well. It goes right to the border. So yes, this is a great little game. I don't know what you guys think of it, but I, I quite like this back in the day. Another fantastic little shooter here on the 7800. I've really enjoyed doing this video, this discovery of the Atari 7800. I mean, I really am just skimming over things here. But if you like this video, please do me the honour of subscribing. Ring that bell for more notifications in regards to future videos. Or simply like or leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye!